Van Dabby Dozy, ready to go? So hi, so nice to e-meet you through the screen. <laughs> yes, nice to e-meet you too. Thanks for having me. How have you been getting on? How have you been keeping the lockdown? I'm um, actually pretty good. I think for me, the lockdown worked, worked well on, on, on many levels, uh, both personally, business-wise. Um, it's tough, but um, fashion is tough anyways. <laughs> so it's, uh, for me, it worked well, yes. How's the, how's the situation? Have you been keeping creative? Or have you had to put pause on things? Um, yeah, I did put pause on things, but actually putting things on pause even make your uh, creativity flow in a better way. Uh, we tend to to rush so much uh, nowadays and with, with four collections a year, it was actually pretty nice to have a little bit downtime to, to contemplate and actually think about what you're doing and why you're doing it and... and um, um, yeah, think be creative, <laughs> and and actually, in in difficult times, I think it, it it's always like um, you need to be you have to be creative anyway. So it's on top of being creative already, and yeah, no. So for me, it's it's it, it, it worked well, and 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 when you have time to to just like chill and um, slow down a little bit, then the ideas pop in. I mean, it works like that for me. And the biggest inspirations come from a walk in the woods or when you do nothing, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I actually, there's a lovely quote that I think was on your website or your Instagram that's kind of, your pieces are something that resonate with you or the world around you. And I thought yes. that was quite, quite interesting given that the world around you has dramatically changed quite a lot in the past three yeah. months. So how yeah. have you kind of found that creative process by seeing everything change so dramatically? Um... Well, actually, I think when when something uh, ha we're all in the middle of of a huge shift which is going on worldwide and within the industry. Um, however, I think it's it, it's it, it demands that we are like reconnect with ourselves, which basically means with all the things changing that that you actually go back to your core mm -hmm. and that makes it even more stable or more, more clear for yourself what you're doing. So. The, the the changes on the one hand gives a lot of like um, um, peace and 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 yeah I'm a very thoughtful um, designer and brand so that that's part of me anyway but yeah I think that 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 helps if if, if you're able to reconnect and 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 don't get carried away by anxiety or things like that mm. then it's pretty. Um, yeah, pretty easy to do it for me, but I can't imagine not not for everyone. But but for me, that works. Yeah, sounds like because it's been quite a positive moment of self reflection for you. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I I think that's that's what the world is about. But also, the fashion industry is a very powerful platform, um, and we're constantly changing. But in 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 the pace of changing we hardly have time to reflect. So reflection is really, really important. And I think that's what this whole um, COVID crisis brought us. And, and uh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very positive about that. Or, or in general. <laughs> that was good. So this time's kind of been a moment for you to pause, reflect, think about what's next. But have you, how have you found kind of the switch to digital? Because you mentioned walking in woods and it sounds like you're connecting with nature and yourself a little bit, but um, there has been a dramatic move to digital in this time as well. How have you found that? Well, actually, I find it an interesting move to digital because it was not going to digital for the sake of being digital, but actually with a real purpose, we can cannot connect in real life. So we need to connect digital. So somehow the digital connection seemed different than what we've been used to up until now. So yeah, for me, it's it's really interesting, and also the the, the way we're connecting difficult uh, um, digital is more um, yeah, it's it's it, it's more straight or clear and more genuine, I think. So yeah, I I, I really love the shift. I, I'm always a bit. I work in the industry for twenty years, so I'm 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 educated uh, in in analog uh, period. So I, I I really literally 
saw the shifts into the digital world and somehow it, it was a bit uh, I was a bit ambiguous about it because it's 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 somewhat how good but um, and it and it really makes it more easier to do some things but at the same time we lose the connection with with doing something with your hands or doing something offline so mm. uh, but for me now it really felt good like okay this is the actual purpose of being connected online yeah have you found that reprojects has had to adapt at all in the, in the past kind of what three months now uh yeah sure kind of i mean digitally for sure um and um at the same time what is happening now requires a shift in in how we think how we deal with product and that is very much in line with the values i already had before the the the, the corona crisis so um in that way it's it's not a big change for me um uh, um, I'm, I'm, my brand is also a personal search for luxury. What is luxury? Mm. And I always said like, well, luxury is time. Time is the most luxurious thing we have. So it was, was good that all these things got confirmed in the last couple of months. I think the bit, biggest um, change for me was for sure the, the digital part. And uh, yeah. Kind of adapting to being on screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, you mentioned kind of... Um, that's something that your brand has been doing for a while, um, not the digital, but just this connection, t- searching for time. And I c- completely agree, there's such an awareness with your brand. It's conscious, it's thinking, it's kind of constantly constantly adapting. And have you noticed that I, it feels like other uh, the kind of fashion world is reacting to that slightly, getting a bit more aware, taking a leaf out of your book, so to speak? A sustainable change, that's for me the most important thing because I'm, I'm i'm a bit worried that as soon as everything is is, is recovering and getting back to normal mm-hmm. uh that people are drifting away from this awareness driven by by uh, growth and revenue and things like that so i uh, for sure there will be a part that will stick to these new values or or the more conscious uh, uh, part of it but um of course, the bigger, bigger companies will, will, they need to change as well. But I, I think they are at bigger risk to, to, to get back to the old values. Um, so, but, but in general, I'm positive. At least the dialogue is there and, and um, Reprojects is, is, is built on a sustainable foundation, but also a, a inclusive foundation. So um, these points are, yeah it's a purpose-driven brand so um yeah and and on top of the covid the situation with george floyd and everything that is going on with 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 um, black Lives matters that's for me it's like a holistic thing like oh my god everything is coming all together and for me it's a very um it's it's it's, it's really sad and it's intense and it's it's it's, it's tough for everyone but it's a change uh, that we need and it's 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 something that triggered the awareness not only within the industry but also uh, globally um, so mm. yeah i have a, since the beginning a very positive feeling about this like okay this it was inevitable that this um, was not going to happen i mean this needed to happen uh, uh, and if we if we pick it pick it up on the right way individually and as businesses and within the industry we we can grow we can make a huge growth and that would be so fantastic if we, if we can uh, if the majority can achieve that yeah yeah i hope so too very much yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. so it sounds like it's been quite a from from quite a tough past three to four months it's mainly in my head and and like making new ideas um, um working on my business refreshing concepts and and, and business uh, plans um so yeah it's 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 i mean in in product i also did some things but i also at the same time was like okay there's so much product there's so much inventory let's take a break on on that particular part but it made me more focus on like okay what should be my next step and how and how does it look and um and i mean the tangible things um were more like um yeah, making the concept, making your mood boards, um, uh, writing your plans, 
I mean, I've been writing a lot, um, reading a lot. So yeah, these things uh, helped to prepare. Actually, it was more like a, a transition period of preparing and and how to shift your ideas and and also the the, um, the point of view where your ideas come from. Yeah. And are you allowed? Uh, are you allowed to give us a little? idea of what's been on your mood board recently <laughs> actually what i did i i um went back to the product we already have and i um, um thought a lot about like how can we upcycle parts of the collection um i i truly believe going into depth with product take time to develop product um and in in these circumstances um like many brands there's a there's inventory uh, stuck somewhere <laughs> between the factory, the stores, and the brand. So, um, and actually, I literally took that product to um, create a capsule. So, um, it, it was more about how to infuse a new idea within an existing product. That's that's what I've uh, been working on. Yeah. Mm. That's so smart and conscious too. Very smart. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. It was such a joy to get to chat to you, even through the screen. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can physically chat soon. <laughs> thank you so uh, much. No, it's my pleasure. I am Desiree from Reprojects and this was my designer interview. Thank you.